A system called the Domain Name System, or DNS, associates names like www.example.com with the corresponding addresses. Your computer uses the DNS to look up domain names and get the associated IP address, which is used to connect your computer to the destination on the internet. And it goes a little something like this. Hey, hi there. I want to go to www. So I, you know, we've been talking about IP addresses and everything having an IP address. Uh, I just want to show you an example of if we want, you know, to see. Uh, the IP address of uh, one of the places that we go a lot, uh, which is my. So this is a website. We used it last time. What is my IP address dot com? But that time I wanted to see what is my IP address. But what if I want to see the IP address of my big campus dot in the website where you came to watch uh, to attend this course? So if I do a lookup of that IP address, I will find that, oh, this is the, the name. The names are the things you know, for us which are easier to go over. If I have to you know, remember that 167.71.230.162 is what I have to go to attend my class, and then there are you know, uh, other, so many, you know, like, uh, for example, if I want to do Google, Right. If I want to see what is the IP address of Google, so it has both an IPv4 address and a v6 address. So, what are these addresses? They actually, if you take one of these addresses and put it in your browser, like if I took the Tamarin, uh, my big campus address, and I just type the address, that site opens up. Or if I go back and do it for Google, so you don't have to. Remember the, the, these numbers. Uh, that's why we have the host names and the DNS, which is the phone book, which allows you to look it up. So any website you can think of, you know, in this, uh, you can look at IP address. And every website that you go to has to have an IP address. We'll go over the actual answer. Okay, so internet is the connection of the computers, the physical connection of the computers, the wires, the cables, we looked at all kinds of them. That is the internet and the rules, the protocols that make uh, those connections. Uh, we'll come to, you know, so let's not do locations and let's come to uh, the web right now. So everyone come back to the slides right now. Do the activities that you're doing about uh, locations later on, right? Um, OK, so this is a very important bit, because not just you, like, you know, you go and do a random poll, people will say, oh, internet and web are the same, right? But they're not. They're, you know, they're different technologies. So internet is the technologies, the pro rules and protocols that are connecting the computers, and web is the World Wide Web, which is shorthand known as web, is it is actually connecting people you know, at, at a very high level. Web is about connecting people. What does that mean to connect people? Okay. It means uh, the web is actually, it's, the, it's all the web pages, programs, and files that people are putting out there, are uploading. Right? So, this is an example uh, of just a snapshot of uh, you know, one small part of the web, one small uh, uh, set of nodes, you know, the URLs um, that exist on the web. Uh, there's just a humongous amount of such networks and such uh, connections that are there. Okay? So, web. There is no wires, no cables. It's not physical, right? It, these are basically files. These are web pages. Uh, these are the uh, you know things we are putting out there. So if there were no people, there would be no web, right? The internet can still exist because those are the wires, right? 
So it's it, uh, an example would be like, you know, uh, we build all these highways, right? All the different highways, roads that go from one place to another, right? What happens, you know, if people aren't there? No one will travel on the highways, right? The highways will just be empty. So that's what will happen to the internet also. If there is no people, if there is no web, uh, there is, you know, no use of the internet. Okay. Hopefully, uh, again, I'm just going back to this slide, just so that you understand. Here we are connecting computers. This is internet. And when people and the stuff they create, the content they create, when that gets shared, that gets connected, that becomes the, the web. Now, who invented web? Anyone knows? Yeah, don't do a lookup right now, because I'll give you the answer. OK? So the inventor of the web was Sir Tim Berners-Lee. Um, and the web came later. Uh, the web came uh, in 1989. Uh, so if you remember the work on the internet, that started in the 60s, right? And it slowly, slowly evolved from you know, uh, the uh, ARPANET to the current internet. Uh, so uh, what did Tim Berners-Lee, what did he do? He came up with the three fundamental parts of the web. He defined, you know, like the technologies that make up what we even today use as the web. So the, those three parts, first is the language of the web. Like how do we share? There has to be some common language, you know, otherwise we'll just get lost, you know, if people are speaking in different languages. So uh, I'm sure many of you have heard of HTML and it stands for Hypertext Markup Language. It's based um, just a language. Um, Arush, are you typing a question, or are we just getting some dots? Um, so the first one is the language. There has to be a common language. Okay. The second one is similar to the internet. Is, you know, everything has to have an address. You know? But instead of the IP address, on the web, we use what's called the URL. Actually, it started with URI, which was Uniform Resource in Identifier. But it was easy. It became you know, uh, easier to just say lo locator, and it became URL. So this is the address that is unique to any, re any file, anything that you're accessing on the web. You know? That's its address. And then once we have the language and we have the address, we need the third thing is a way of transmitting, right? Of transferring things from one computer to another. And that's where the third thing comes, which is the HTTP, uh, hypertext transfer, transfer protocol, right? So the language, the location, and the, the transfer protocol, those are the three things that define the web, the World Wide Web. Okay, I know these are a bunch of terms and concepts, but uh, we'll we'll try to do some uh, uh, more examples and analogies that you can see what these really mean. Um, okay, questions? Anything uh, so far? Please type. Um, okay. So now let's come to a big question. You know, what do you think is difference between normal text and hypertext?